And they're bearding on the bottom of the hive. I don't know if you actually call it bearding or not. I've evidently I've got a gap somewhere because I've last two inspections I have found bees under the lid so I've got a gap somewhere and I'm getting bees in there and they're not finding their way out and they're dying I don't know where the gap is or especially a gap big enough for a bee to get through I'll try to check it one before we get before I leave I'll try to check that thing They've actually still got sugar water left. They've got some left, but I'm going to fill it up anyway. <laughs> I was afraid of that. The other day it was stuck. I actually brought a little bit of hot water with me to get it unstuck if I had to. that I didn't actually drill it that I cut for the for the uh, feeders not right okay feeders full looks like they're in the same place they were before it's like they're not trying to draw out those last three four maybe bars well, they propolized it that's for sure golly hmm never had that much trouble getting these out I know it's tight but goodness gracious uh, I forgot to smoke them at the door Started on that one yet? Well, they really tried to propolize that one though. I don't see any problems down inside so far. Haven't started drawing that one. Why is there a drone that far back? chaining on that one so maybe they're gonna start drawing that one out I don't see anything on it at all is that propolis Let's 
so now that one's they started oh yeah so they're back to the fourth from the feeder which would be hmm, if my numbering is right up here one two show number 22 I'll have to go back and look on the, on the last video if 22 was like that or not. Seriously? Are they putting up nectar in it already? And they're not even finished with the comb. Okay, we're going to have to figure out where that gap is. I've got way too many dead bees in this thing. Whew, that cool breeze feels good to me, but I'm sure it's irritating them to no end. Whoops. Oh, I left my knife at home. Wow, that one's kind of heavy I think that's full of honey so I guess they're trying to put up their honey stores for the winter nothing but nectar on that side capped honey and nectar on that side that's good whoa big old freaking yellow jacket Whoa, he was bold. I opened up the hive and he come in. He won't leave though, he's dead. Let's see if I can try to get them to... Well, that's all. That's all good. Whoop. Was that a dead beat or did I just kill it? That was a dead one. My gloves are so big, I can't even feel anything. I think the first pair of gloves I had that were marked double extra large were actually extra large. So they were real small. So when I ordered my triple extra large gloves, they're they look way big. All right, I'm going to have to manipulate that comb a little bit they're kind of moving the edge which is kind of unusual in the class they sit in a top bar hive on the end on the front end where the entrance is they would kind of try to arch the comb toward the, the entrance well in this hive anyway it seems like they've been trying to bend the edges in the opposite direction so that one's heavy compared to most of them that I've seen that one looks like it's all nectar and a bunch of capped honey I'm loving that I started wondering if they were ever gonna start putting up honey because all they were putting up was brood bars but uh that's all honey capped honey and nectar I don't see one brood cell and they're chaining on the bottom so they're still still working on it they're they're trying to bring in honey and they're trying to still build the comb oh that's gonna be a pain and that's that's kind of I need to move that back Okay, that wouldn't do bad. Like I said, it's cool. It, this cool breeze that blows through here it feels good to me, but to them it's probably probably making it where they're not happy that I'm opening the hive. Because it's actually a little kind of a cool breeze. That's mostly honey. 
nectar dripping off the top of it. I can see see the nectar dripping. Wow, that's mostly honey. Some drone brood. Why are they still putting up drone brood? I don't see the queen. I wish I didn't smash so many bees. See the queen. Of course, she could be on the wall, or she's probably farther up. See what I mean about the comb in this? It's like on this end, it sticks out this way, and on on the other on the other one, it's it comes out the other way. So they're keeping their bee space, but I kind of wish they would straighten it out. I want to, that's got nectar all in it. Well, that's, that wasn't attached anyway, so I'm going to leave it. A lot of bees in there on that one. So, the last two or nothing but honey or nectar and I think that the third one from the back had a couple of drones or brood cells and then the other one had some drone cells so yeah see that's a lot of honey on top of that some drone or brood cells There's a few brood cells. Looks like they're going back in that with nectar. Still haven't seen the queen. I'm hoping she's up farther toward the front, but and she's laying in the front so they can. So they can uh, put so they can put the honey back here. Yeah, I know I crushed one and she fell back down in there. She probably got a little bit of alert pheromone there. That one's kind of heavy. That's got a lot of chrome brood on it. Dripping nectar from the bottom. Unless that was bees I saw falling. I see some bees falling. Why are they putting up so much chrome brood? Thought they were going to kick them out at the end of summer anyway. There's a lot of drone brood up there too. Looks like a lot of those drones are about to hatch. You can see one. I don't know. I guess that one's trying to chew its way out. That one's looks like it's about to. That's kind of weird how they did that. I don't remember seeing that. Unless they just added that on there. That's kind of weird. Hmm. one is that this is 17 I have to go back and look on some of the videos and see if that was that way that's odd one thing about the cool weather is they don't want to crawl out and get in the way like they did that one day they were so hot oh, tore some comb yeah, that one's trying to carry out some dead bees. There's a bunch of 
purpose. Whoops. Well, I lost that purpose. Well, I'm gonna have to find that gap. It's, there's too many dead bees under this lid here. Too many. they'll chew that up and reuse it or what whoa that's there's nothing there what is that what happened that's crazy this is 16 unless they're now there was some brood or drone brood on whoa there's two Possible queen cells. Actually, there's nothing in them. Nothing in that one. There's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Up oh, seven. Hmm. Mm, that may be a drone cell eight maybe eight maybe possible eight queen cells or practice queen cells or whatever well, they could just be drone cells but what i was saying before i noticed the queen cells was is that where they've been coming through right there see that bee looks like she's stuck that was a miscut on my uh, table saw. Let's see if she's, she looks like she's stuck. Well, if she's stuck, another one can't get in there. But anyway, what I was saying is that some of the cells, ooh, that's a cool breeze. Yeah, that's gonna make them mad. Um, some of the drone, some of the, the bars had drone brood on the sides like just uh, get out just down on the on the, the edges of it had that like, just drone brood and uh, had worker brood or regular brood what do I call it regular brood on the in the center so I'm wondering if they've put up all the drones they want to put up they're chewing off the drone brood or the drone cells because they're bigger and trying to go back with regular cells. I don't know. But I've never, like I said, that was a full bar a while back, I believe. This one's the same way on the edge right here. It is empty, it's light. Looks like all the broods hatched out I don't see any more brood in it I don't see any eggs maybe they're gonna start putting up honey I don't know but there's no eggs or anything in that one so I'm gonna try to look for her on the sides so maybe I can find her I didn't even actually kind of didn't kind of didn't really look that hard for her on that one but there wasn't a, anything to impede my vision so if I'd have seen her she'd have stuck out that's full of brood she's still here She's still doing her job. That is full of brood. Oh, I like seeing those. I like seeing them like that. Yes, sir. Honey on 
the top, brood on the bottom. That's good. Go. On. All right. It's kind of breezy today. Boy, it sure would be a nice day to get on that tractor and bush hog too. If it wasn't so wet from that rain. I've got one area that I'm bush hogging now that I actually had to put the tractor in four-wheel drive to get out. And that was after a couple of weeks with no rain. It was kind of getting dry here. So now I'm afraid to even try it. Oh, there's another cell that might possibly be a queen cell. So none of them have been capped. If they're practice cells, I don't know if I need to go ahead and pinch them off. I see plenty of drones. Oh, look at there. They're pupa, I guess you would call those. They're not larva. I don't know if they're. I've never seen them like that. Usually they're capped when they're in that stage, I think. Or do they get to that stage and then they cap them and then they're in the process of capping them now? But I can tell, I mean, there's actually definition to them. There's like characteristics of bees. It's not just like a blob, like a larva. Huh. Maybe there's something wrong with them and they're trying to take them out. I don't know, but they're, they're working, so queen is working so I'm going to leave them alone for now try to scrape off all the dead relatives I don't see a yellow dot on any of them from there I don't know what that noise is, but that's weird. I've uh, been here, it sounds like a chain kind of rattling, but my chain is tight, so there's no, like something chewing on wood or something. A few ants. I saw one big red ant up there. Some of the bees were kind of chasing it around. Some brood. There's drone. Uh, I can tell those are drone cells. They're bigger than the rest of them, and they get larvae in them. Huh. That's odd. They're still. Oh, that's regular brood still haven't seen the queen but I've gone through inspections and not seen her before so for some reason I don't know why but for some reason it just seems easier to pick out the queen even before I marked her on the lane frames because the other day when I was picking out my nuke a couple of times I picked the queen out just I'm on as soon as the frame came out of the hive I picked her out which surprised me I'm not used to being able to find the queen that easily and it just seems like I don't know what what it is about it but it seems like it's easier to pick the queen out of a laying frame to me Maybe it's just the way my eyes work. A lot of brood. She's still doing her job. I'm glad of that. As was... long as she's working, I'm happy. 
The only problem they're going to get into is this winter, if they don't start putting up more honey, they're going to be in trouble. I'll have to feed them all winter. There's some more of those cells. There, I see definition, so I don't know. I can't remember how it goes. Look down in there and see if I can find a queen. I don't see her anywhere. I'll have to look up and refresh on, excuse me, the process of the process of uh, the bees life cycle just to see if see when they actually cap the cells I'll have to refresh my memory on that I don't remember if they capped them when they're in larva or after they've already developed to a pupa so I'm going to go back and refresh on that and so this is my first year so no nasty comments I'm a little slower here because there's there are more bees and I'm trying to find the queen first few few bars went real quick oh golly look at all the drone brood I don't know if they're gonna try to swarm on me later on and that's what they're doing but you can tell the difference of the drone sizes and, and the regular workers Ooh. Every time I see a drone, I'm like, oh, there's a queen. No, that's not her. Most of those are about ready to hatch out. They're getting real dark. I'm hoping that they don't, that they're not, like, getting drones ready to go out and mate with the new queen that they're going to make. And that's what those queen cells are for. Let's see queen on that one. I don't see her down in the on the wall. So I'm at bar nine. Do you hear that? It sounds like it's... Oh, it's the chain. <laughs> okay. I don't know what was going on there for a minute. I guess the wind's blowing the top just a little bit, enough to make the chain creak a little. Regular worker brood. A little bit of honey on the top. Worker brood. Still haven't seen the queen. I don't see her in there on the wall. As far as I can tell, anyway. All right, I'm getting into more and more bees. Though. I saw a bee there with a bunch of pollen on its leg. So they're bringing in pollen. That's kind of the color of those, uh, that milkweed or butterfly weed or whatever it's called. That's kind of the color of that. So I don't know if that's what they're drawing nectar from and Maybe a little pollen too. Oops, let's 
smash her. Lots of brood. Capped brood. Lots of capped brood. Still haven't seen the queen. And there are a lot of bees on those though. They could be covering her up and I would never see her. They may try to cover her to keep her warm when I pull her out of there. So, like I said, it's a little cool today. Cool for July anyway. Woo. I dropped that one almost. And they are getting a little more in the way than they were before. That one looks like it was partially crushed. Stay out of the way. No one smoked. Seems to be making them want to crawl out this morning. Still nothing on the side, no queen on the side that I can see. There's obviously a queen in there somewhere because she's still putting up brood. Brood, there's a, there's a bee hatching right there. And there's more hatching. All that's about to hatch out. Probably by the end of the day, all that'll be hatched out. It's kind of a light light frame anyway there there's no nectar that i can see anywhere well there's a little bee bee bread i guess they call it no queen that i can see there's a drone like i said every time i see a drone i'm like oh there's no that's not her They're so much bigger than the worker bees. I'll uh, drop those down in the hive. That ain't good. So, yeah, that, that bar was pretty light. So, I gotta figure out where they're coming through those gaps. I don't know if that was the end of the one of those bars where they were coming through. If it is, I'm probably lucky that it's only been a few bees to find it. All right, my smokers are trying to slow down on me here. Okay. I don't even see the queen on the side, but it's kind of, there's a shadow, it's kind of dark down in there. And for some reason the mark on her back is not real bright, but like I said, it's harder for me to pick out a queen on these top bar frames or bars it's like a lot of that that bee bread I guess is what they call it it's the pollen and nectar mix going back a lot of that in between the drone cell or the brood cells still haven't seen the queen really would like to see her this time. I don't think I saw her last time either, even though she was. Obviously, laying. And if 
that she's not there, they've got plenty of brood to make a queen cell out of. dark down there and bright out here it's kind of hard to see though this is the one that I've seen her on several times because I remember that was the one with the knot in it that I kind of have to I'm halfway nervous about cracking under stress got a lot of bee bread on it not so much brood Some pollen on that one. They're going back with bee bread, looks like. Oh, there's some larva. So they are still putting up brood on these. was on this wall it would be really hard to see her the other wall maybe not so much and like I said they may cover her up as soon as she comes out so to keep her warm there's a ball of bees right there getting so much glare off of this veil that it's going to be hard to find the queen and I don't I'm not brave enough to do it without a veil I'm not even brave enough to do it without gloves Oh, a lot of bee bread, that's why it's heavy. Still, there she is right there. Sweet. One, two, three. This is the fourth bar. So she's back on the floor. Looks like she's looking for a place to lay, but they've put bee bread everywhere. Alright, y'all have to move. I gotta get her back in the hive. I don't want her to. I've seen several, I don't say several, I've seen some videos on YouTube where people, I don't know, I, there's a hive beetle, where people have, uh, where they mark their queens and then they clip their one of the wings, like cut it in half or cut part of it off so she can't fly away. And that's supposed to like, cut down on swarming or whatever or keep her from absconding I guess I don't know what everybody's opinion is on that 
of course one of the first things that we were told when we started thinking about beekeeping and in class ask 25 beekeepers an opinion you'll get 25 different answers so so I found the queen which makes me happy that is heavy that is full of bee bread I guess that's what I've heard somebody call it oh gosh I almost dropped it um I guess that's pollen and nectar and everything mixed together and they just stuff it in there and for so that's I mean that's that's all there is on that bar that's it that's the third bar and it's just completely packed with bee bread I don't see any nectar I don't see any but well, there's one brood cell looks like maybe that's probably either needing to hatch out or is a dead cell and if it is they'll probably take it out because it looks like they have commandeered that one for bee bread that's all there is in that one oh what's that what's going on here a little uh movement it seems like they get a little a little more testy up here close to the front probably because of the bee the guard bees but yeah they tend to get a little more active when I get up here as far as buzzing me and getting loud that breeze feels wonderful to me to them I'm sure it's like a November breeze, no matter when. There's some drone cells. A lot of bee bread. A lot more smashed bees. I don't really need to be better, get better about not smashing bees. Wow. Seems like some days are better than others. Some days I smash more, some days I don't smash hardly any. But a lot of drone cells, a lot of bee bread. So it looks to me like the front of the hive is bee bread. Those drone cells look like they're about ready to hatch, so maybe they'll go back in it with bee bread maybe that'll be the last of the drone cells that they put up up here anyway back toward the back there are a few bars of just solid worker cells and in the very very back there's Oh wow, that was stuck. There's uh, cells with, or there's bars with just honey. That is all bee bread. Oh, that was close. I didn't realize I was bending it that way. I really wasn't. Ooh, that that one's floppy. That one's, I think it's, yeah, it's end heavy. See how there's nothing up here hardly? And then all down at the bottom, there's, whoo, that was close. There's, uh, it's all, all that bee bread that's, it's really heavy. It's all on the end. And uh, so, yeah, I like to have had a catastrophic mistake on that one. Why are they congregating out here so much? Huh. Maybe I'm putting too much smoke on. Why, am I, why did I go that way with it? Why did I go that way with it? Okay. That bee will get out of the way. 
Wow. stuck. Wow. Look at that. Look at all the bees. Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's the having the opening and working my way up front and back that's pushed them all back here or if they're all after if they're after that uh, syrup oh no look at them now they've kind of they're moving forward so I think just the some of them didn't like the cool of the opening so I don't know how in the world I'm going to get two more bars in there y'all going to have to get out the way get out the way Get out of there. Alright. Let's see about. Whew. Oh, howdy. That was a lot of movement there. Let's see if I can. So, I'm going to have to figure something out. Okay. Beetle. 